welcome to this edition of Red Devil Nation. I'm Kira. And I'm Lauren, and here's what's happening around RV. Registrations for SAT prep sessions C in February and D in March are now available. Please download and carefully read the document on the RV website for more details. See Mr. DeZuba in C102 with any questions. Seniors and their parents or guardians are encouraged to attend the local scholarship meeting on Tuesday, February 7th in the Old Auditorium at 9.30 a.m. Passes are available in guidance. Please be sure to bring your laptop. The physics class recently held their egg drop lesson, and the idea is to create a structure safe enough to hold an egg that gets dropped from a high distance. Drew Schaefer and Jeff Scott were not only there for RVTV, but also to design and test their own structure. Congratulations to the RV Model UN students who were recognized overall as an outstanding delegation at the Nations Conference in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Senior Eric Wentz was selected to attend the Conference on National Affairs later this summer. Red and White Night poster tracing and painting sessions will be held from 4.30 to 8.30 p.m. on Tuesdays and Wednesdays through February 28th. For more information, check the Red and White Night Google Classroom. RV held its annual open house for 8th graders and other students interested in attending the school. Many of our clubs and activities were on hand, including the RV TV crew, who did their part to help promote Red Cocos Valley. Hello, I'm Nathan Melendez, and today we're here at 8th grade parent night, where upcoming freshmen will see what RV has to offer. I'm here with? Ava. And what club are you representing tonight? RV dance team. And why is this night so important to the dance team? Uh, this is a great way to advertise to the 8th graders who are coming into high school to try out for the team in May. Ava Palon, August Hobbs. And what club are you representing tonight? Italian club. And why is tonight so important to Italian club? Um, we're just trying to get more people interested in Italian club and the Italian program in general so that they can know about it and hopefully learn more about it. Eric Wenz. And what club are you with tonight? The Model United Nations. And why is tonight so important for Model UN? Well, uh, after COVID, our conference took a big dip in numbers. Um, we just went back in person this year and we're growing. And today's, uh, or tonight is a great day to get everyone out uh, and really get the club numbers back up. I'm here with? Miranda Cruz. And what club are you representing today? Students for Lemons. And why is this night beneficial to your club? We're hoping to recruit a lot more members since the founders of our club are graduating this year. So we're looking forward to having a much wider membership next year. Shishu Patel. And what club are you representing tonight? I'm representing the Spanish Honor Society and the Spanish Club. And why is tonight so important for those Spanish clubs? 
Well, 8th grade night's a really important recruitment opportunity, and we're looking forward to recruiting a lot of new 8th graders and building that passion of Spanish. Bonsoir, je m'appelle Melanie. Je m'appelle Natalie. And what club are we with today? We're repping French Club today. And why is tonight important for French Club? It's really important to get 8th graders interested in learning a new language that wasn't available at many of their middle schools and increase French Club and its um, pop popularity around the school. RJ Lockshine. And what club are you representing tonight? I'm representing Smash and the Esports Club. Why is tonight so important for Smash Club and Esports? Well, we always want to get new members because sports are very important for a lot of kids in high school and it's great to have different alternatives for each student. We'd like to have that non-extremely athletic sport so that everyone can do what they want to do. And that's a look at what's happening around RV. We'll be right back with sports and weather. I'm Carter with a new pair of kicks. Dang, bro! Help kick off Italian hit Terry. Can I try it again? And I'm Sky. Here's some today's announcements. And now for a look at RV Sports. Let's turn it over to Miranda. Thanks, Kira. As we approach the midway point of the winter season, let's take a look at how some of our teams have done so far. Boys Wrestling opens the new year with a home meet against Cherry Hill East on January 4th. RV scored seven pinfalls that night, including wins by Jake Bartletta, Theo Rumberger, and Yasin Richardson. RV took the win that night over the Cougars, 66-13. Boys basketball faced off against Cherokee on January 5th. It was a close battle between the Red Devils and the Chiefs, as senior Jack Ordendak scored 13 points and junior Montre Wilson had 10. RV went on a 19-2 run in the second quarter and scored the upset over the Chiefs, 48-45. RV TV was there as the girls basketball team took on Cherry Hill East on January 10th. RV was looking to get back on track after losing five straight. The Red Devils and the Cougars were tied after the first quarter, but in the second quarter, RV's offense came alive. Sophomore Jordan Reynolds scored eight points to help RV take a nine-point lead into halftime. Senior Maggie St. Clair finished with 12 on that night. As the RV Red Devils held the Cougars to only 11 points in the second half, RV went on to defeat Cherry Hill East 48-31. After starting their season on a rough note, the girls' swim team won their third straight meet, defeating <coughs> Haddon Township 109-60. to The girls also have victories this year over Seneca and Lenape. The team now stands at 3-3. Three three. Once again, I'm Miranda Cruz, and that was a look at RV Sports. Now let's send it over to Savannah and Josephine for a look at this week's weather. Thanks, Thanks Miranda. As we approach the end of January, temperatures will remain above average with rain showers and e maybe even some snow, possibly throughout the week. Monday looks to be cloudy with a high of 45 and a low of 34. So Tuesday looks to be a rainy day with a high around 49 and a low that evenings of 37. Let's now take a look at the five-day forecast. The five-day forecast. We start on Wednesday. There, there's going to be some showers, and it's going to be a high of 45 and a low of 38, uh, 34. Next, on Thursday, there's going to be partly sunny with a high of 43 and a low of 27. On Friday, it's the same thing as Thursday, except for a high of 38 and a low of 25. On Saturday and Sunday, there's going to be some showers, with the high on Saturday being 36 and the low being 23. On Sunday, the high is going to be 37 and the low is going to be 23. That wraps up this edition of Red Devil Nation. For more news and information, visit the RV website at www.rvrhs.com. I'm Kira. And I'm Lauren. And for everyone at RV TV, thanks for watching.